Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where 1K stands for the number of bugs I've submitted to Crow Team's bug report channel in the process of making this series. So today we're here at the megastructure for our second visit, and just like the last visit, this one is going to be pretty short, uh, especially seeing as Yakut here is going to solve one of the three puzzles for us. I think afterward I'm going to do the New Jerusalem revisit segment in the same video as well, just because both are really short and they'll go good together in the same video. Uh, I'm also going to look at all of the Easter eggs that will that are in um, New Jerusalem, since I didn't actually really look at those the first time we were there. So I'm going to meet you guys over in the main puzzle chamber. Alright, so here we are in the main puzzle chamber. So that red one out there is the one that Yakut is going to solve for us, which only leaves the green and the blue puzzles. I tried for like a few hours to get into that red puzzle, um, just to see if like I could run into Yakut and help him out, or what would happen if he stole some of the things he has to interact with, or even to just steal the cube that's in the puzzle, because those are always useful. Unfortunately, um, for once, Crow Team did a very good job of sealing it off. Uh, every possible way I could figure out to get into it was like too long of a jump, or they have an invisible wall, something like that. I know there's like a uh, bug you can exploit with save buffering, or uh, pause buffering I mean, like with photo mode, uh, but honestly I don't really plan on using that at all just because it takes all the creativity out of like finding unique ways to get around things. So I guess I'm going to meet you guys over at the green puzzle up there. Alright, so here we are in the green puzzle here. So there's two different solutions I'm going to show off. Um, this is the first one. So whenever you're on a surface like this, you can always double tap to disengage from it, and since we are on the ceiling right now, we will just fall straight up, in our case, uh, to whatever's above us. And we can exploit that right now to jump up onto this, above this gate here. And then all we've got to do now is to get back onto that surface, which we can do by jumping right onto this little lip that goes around this whole platform. And then that gets us high enough that we can just jump right back onto the original surface, and now we're on the other side of the gate. But, like I said, um, there's one more solution, and I'm going to go use that one, because I think it's a little more interesting. So the other one, all we've got to do is take this connector here. Normally we're going to, we would have to, you know, do a puzzle and try to figure out how to power that green receptacle with that green laser in there. Uh, but we're going to simplify it quite a bit by just jumping up onto this bit here. And now from this vantage point, we can see both lasers. There we go. If I can figure out where they're at. We just got to leave that there. And the gate's now open. So now we've, all we've got to do is run all the way back around. So I will do that right now. And now that we're back in here, the gate is open, and we are free to run in and activate our laser gun. And then to do the blue puzzle over there, we just need to reset one more time so that we can get our uh, connector back. And we just need to swap it with the driller here, and free the inverter here from behind the wall. And then we're just going to connect that to the red laser there, and then way off in the distance in the blue puzzle there is an accumulator. All we've got to do is just power that up with our blue laser here. And that's done. And now I just need to run over there to that puzzle. Alright, and now that we're in here, we've got our accumulator already powered up with the blue laser. 
So we just need to take it right over there. And normally that would be really hard because it has to be on that pressure plate to expose the receptacle. Uh, but if you remember back to our first megastructure visit, um, there's a little bit of a running uh, theme here with getting things through walls. And I found there's another spot right here that you can do the same with. You can either leave it right there and grab it from the other side, or you can just look through the wall and put it through yourself. And once we've got it through, it is a trivial matter to just connect that, throw it on the gate, and open the gate here. And there we go. There's all the lasers done. Told you this is going to be a short segment. Alright, so I think I am going to cut to New Jerusalem because all that's left here is just running in and seeing some cutscenes and then flying all the way back to the city. So I will meet you guys there. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're here in the blue puzzle again. I just wanted to show off a few cool little things before we left this area. Um, the video is going to be short enough, so we've got the time to spare. It's just a few little things I found while breaking the puzzles that I never ended up using. So the very first one here, if you jump up on top of these little ledges on the wall, and then jump over to this pillar, you can get up on top of the puzzle. And then if you follow this wall all the way around, and grind this rail here, we can get up where the gun is. Thought that was kind of cool there. There's the laser. Alright, and the next spot is in the little entryway to the green puzzle, so I will meet you there. Alright, so right here while you're climbing up this sideways Tetromino Bridge, instead of jumping onto the floor, you can jump onto the little ledge right here. I guess this would be the floor and that would be the ceiling, but you can jump right onto that little thing there. And then from here you can jump down onto this piece and down onto the wall down here. This is one of the ways I was hoping I could use to get over to Yakut's side. Wait. That's Byron. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been saying the wrong name this whole time. Anyway, I was hoping I could use this to get to Byron's side and get into the puzzle over there. Uh, but unfortunately, this you just can't. It's just a big wall you can't get over. So anyway, the third and final place I wanted to show off is up on this upside down Tetromino Bridge. Alright, and all we've got to do is just kind of climb around to the opposite side, which you can do in third person view since you can see the other face. So we're just going to jump onto this face, and then onto that face, and then now that we're on the top side of it, we can run over right down there. That should work, yep. And then from up on top of here, we can jump around this wall and land on this area. And this is the closest I was able to get to get up on into that puzzle. Unfortunately, you can jump to get onto this little lower ledge, but there's no way up into the puzzle from down there. So, oh well. I tried. Oh, and then I just wanted to show off a, a hilarious little bug here in photo mode. If you go into third person... I guess it doesn't have to be third person, but it just visualizes it better. And then go into photo mode right as you jump off of a sideways surface. Um, it really doesn't like it when you try to rotate the character. That's, I love this. It's probably my favorite bug so far. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to meet you guys in New Jerusalem.
to the Museum of the Simulation and talk to Cornelius. Let's see what he has to say for himself. All right, and now that we're back safe and sound in New Jerusalem, let's go ahead and get these Easter eggs out of the way. Then we're going to do a tiny little bit of story stuff down there at the museum. Alcatraz, what's going on? You need some help? No? Okay. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit of story stuff there at the museum and then fly back and start breaking more puzzles. So our first Easter egg here is behind this conspicuously locked door that 1K cannot get through. However, the photo mode camera has no such restrictions. And on the other side, I'm going to keep this a little bit vague to avoid spoiling anything, but this is a scene from Better Call Saul. And we can even see the graffiti he left here in the episode, right there. And then our second Easter egg, if we just pop up over this wall and look out the window. Come on, there we go. Down on the ground, we will see a drawing of the Lambda symbol, which is the symbol for the Half-Life series. Alright, with those two out of the way, let's go ahead and run down to our third one, which is going to be kind of down there along the uh, outer wall there. Alright, and right around the corner here, we will see... I'm sorry, 1K. I'm afraid I can't do that. Tal 9000, which of course is a reference to Hal 9000, um, primary antagonist of the 2001 Space Odyssey movie. Okay, and our next Easter egg is going to be way on the other side of the city, behind the Alexander Drennan Memorial. Okay, and we just got to get up here, and inside this brush here we will find... Serious Sam Gold. I would play that. Yeah. And the next one is going to be a little bit of a run. It's all the way in the little construction site in the very back of the city. Okay, we just gotta stand here, go into photo mode, come up around here, and you all knew it was coming, it's the kitty face! Alright, where's it at? Should be right around here somewhere, yep, right there. And our last two are gonna be inside the museum. I did show these off already in the very first episode of the series. Um, but I'm just going to show them off again just so they're all together in a single video. So I'll meet you there. Okay, first one is back here behind this Egyptian themed puzzle. And in a little bit of water here, we will have a little beach ball. I guess. Pretty big beach ball. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the other puzzle over here and we'll see our final Easter egg. And if we get behind this brush and look through here, we will see Sirius Sam. Gotta love him. Okay, let's go ahead and do this little bit of story here and head back to the VTOL. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode. Join us next time as we tackle South 1, the southern coast, my personal favorite area. So I'll meet you there. Peace. Even if you put a box on top of here, which can be a little bit of a tricky proposition sometimes, because the game really does not like having boxes on top of these. A 
we just walk over here to the cliff edge, we will have quite a nice view.